Hello there, it's Diorama Don here once more with a, a new project just starting. Uh, you have the benefit of clicking on the thumbnail uh, of the completed project, whereas I have no idea <laughs> what I'm going to do. Um, I've got, well, that's not true. I've got a, an idea in my head of what I'd like, uh, but then... Uh, I have to work out how to actually do it but of course you see the finished object on the, in the thumbnail so you get to see uh, exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> if you understand what I mean. Before we continue please subscribe press the subscribe button uh, and you will be informed when new videos come up uh, of which there are two or three a week. So the idea is uh, there's a path here then there's a cobbled road cobbled street here then a path the other side of the road and then a couple of houses so uh, that's the premise uh, but slightly different in that uh, I want it on a hill I don't think I've seen a diorama with house or buildings on an incline. Um, not sure how to do it myself really but that's what I want to do. It, it'll be uh, on a hill so I want it two inches high at the highest point there so I cut a piece piece of card. This is all three, three millimeter card. Um, if you've only got one or two millimeter stick them together and make three millimeter. Uh, two millimeter would just be a little too thin I think but you can stick three pieces of one mil together and that's a uh, cornflake packet cardboard so I cut a piece two inches by the length of the base and then cut diagonally so that will sit there so that one will sit on the other side like that then I've got two more that will sit in the middle like so so we'll have four four of these fins if you like and then that will sit on the top and that will then be the base or the basis for uh, everything that I do the, the road the path the houses uh, but it, it will be um, raised two inches one end so that uh, so it's a hill okay so that's the first thing I want to do the second thing is there is a, a, a very famous clip uh, of uh, video from uh, World War Two if you watch what World War Two documentaries you'll see it time and time again and it is of a tank bursting through a house uh, it's obviously smashed in, in into the back of the house and the film crew are out the front and they, they you see the tank bursting through the front of the house and smashing it all to pieces. Uh, so that's what I want to create here with a house and the corner is, is bombed completely away and a vehicle coming coming out to, out of the hole in the house. Uh, the third thing is because there is a void now under the road we've got a gap under the road there we can have a really deep bum crater so there'll be a, 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 a bomb a hole in the road and we can go really deep because we've got two inches underneath there to play with so they're the they're the three criteria of what uh, what I'm trying to achieve here so I, th I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I will now glue these these uh, angled fins uh, to each side and put the back on like so and then the top on like so at an angle and uh, we'll take it from there. There we go all glued up. Um, I just bought a new um, hot melt hot melt glue gun 
uh, it is the most wonderful, fantastic thing I've ever bought. Instead of hanging around for hours and hours waiting for PVA glue to dry. Uh, although I burn my fingers quite often, it's uh, a fantastic bit of kit. So very pleased with that. So we've got uh, the shape of, uh, of our diorama with the slope going down there. Uh, then this will sit on top like so. And I've cut out two bond craters. All I did was cut out the initial uh, size of the, the crater first and then put a piece of card behind and uh, draw around freehand just uh, inside that shape. Cut that out, another piece of card underneath, so on, so on, so on, until the, uh, the bottom there. And then a smaller one there. So very easy to do as if as long as you've got the room underneath, which we have here. So I shall glue that on there like that, like so. Uh, this will be uh, where the path will eventually be. This won't be the path. Uh, there'll be another piece on top of there uh, because this now is going to be filled in with... Uh, grey grout that will make my uh, cobbled stones, cobbled street stones. So I'll stick these on either side. That will give me then uh, a shuttering for for the grout. Uh, but before I do that, I'll do the um, uh, fill in the, the bomb craters with uh, <laughs> uh, Putty, wool putty, wool filler, putty filler, whatever it is. So uh, I'll glue it up and uh, get ready and I'll show you how to go about the, uh, with, with the wool putty. Okay, I'll do that. So beginning to take shape now. Everything uh, is all stuck together. So for these bomb craters, I'll use this uh, wool filler. I'll just put a little bit in here. I won't put any water with it as I normally do because we want to we want to fill these in quite uh, with a thick consistency. Like that. And you see. And then with the brush we can make the shape of, uh, well, whatever shape we want. And then around the edge we can build it up a bit higher where the blast has uh, blown out the road and, and made a, a crate around the edge because that's going to have uh, rubble or debris, broken brick all around there. So that's, that's the idea. Uh, I, I suppose there are all, all, all kinds of uh, products that you could use for doing this. Uh, I keep hearing the name Mod Podge. I don't know what the hell it is, but I know people. A lot of people use it. But wool filler is is has got to be cheaper from a DIY shop, and uh, it does just the same thing, or plaster. It's, it's the same same kind of uh, effect anyway. So I'll do that with the two craters. Then I'll add a little bit of water and, and just brush over the rest of the road, which is this area here. So that it's got everything has got a base of uh, white filler. Uh, because um, grout doesn't stick to cardboard it will eventually uh, come off. Uh, so 
with a coating of just a thin coating of white filler uh, with grout on top of that it will stick to it permanently so I'll carry on finish that and uh, I'll be back so our bomb craters are nice and dry now didn't take too long uh, now we need to make the uh, cobbled street so with some grey grout should be enough and a little bit of water mix that up and that will be our cobbles We could ever mix this. Oh, there we go. Now we can't do anything with that, but just a little tiny bit more water. Now that's exactly what we want. I don't want it too runny, otherwise it will run down my hill. <laughs> so, there we are. Now all I need to do is put that in between. Just spread that out like butter. Oh, oh, you can't, <laughs> can't see. Just a little bit more in there, then I'll have to make some more up. So, I should cover the whole area that will be cobbled all around there and, and up the top there. Um, then I'll be back and show you the next stage. So you can see what I've done here. I've only waited 10 minutes really and it was ready to uh, to mark out. So just putting a, a ruler, can't see again, a ruler across there and then uh, marking out the lines this way all the way down. And then now I shall start carving out the individual stones this way just a I use a, a thin watchmaker screwdriver uh, any any just thin implement uh, will do about uh, a quarter of an inch can you see so I'll mark out a few it's not easy to do like this <laughs> leaning over the top of a camera so I've got to do all of that like that and then when that's dry I can put the pavements on which I'll do later and I've already made the uh, while I was waiting for the filler to dry I've made the, the two buildings that will sit at the back there on the slope so that's the beginnings of the buildings they've got to have a lot of uh, um, mouldings and uh, what have you and bricks and lots of things <laughs> But uh, they're, they're, they're cut out and ready now, so um, it won't take too long to finish those off. 
but I'll finish the, I shall have to hurry now because it's drying very quickly. So I'll mark out my cobbles, wait for those to dry, and then we'll be back for the next bit. So my cobbles are dry now. Uh, nothing worse than dry cobbles. So as it was drying last night, when I marked out all the individual cobbles, um, I just go over, just gently circle each cobble to, to just to take the corners off, uh, just to make it look a little more realistic. Cobbles were normally a, a roundish kind of shape. So um, although it takes a bit of time, it's worth it <coughs> in the end. So now it's all dry and they feel just like cobbles. So I put a little bit of um, wall filler together with a little bit of water together with a little bit of black paint and now I shall fill the space between <laughs> forgot to clean your brush out I shall fill the space I'll only do this area so we fill the space between the cobbles And I shall do the um, crater the same colour. So, uh, kill two stones with one bird. So they're all filled now. Well, I'll carry on so that I'll use up what. Uh, mixture I've got waste not want not I lost a couple of cobbles while I was brushing off the debris but that's that's a good thing a couple of missing cobbles is doesn't go amiss oh, it looks well now be able to do it all. Well, that's good news for you. I can bore you to tears even more. <laughs> uh, come on. You can do it. Oh, just enough. Look at that. Well, I might as well do my uh, craters as well. Just about enough. Hmm. Good. So now I'm filled between between the gaps, then with uh, <coughs> some water and a wet sponge, I can just take off the surface. How are you getting this? difficult to keep a running commentary on uh, <laughs> something that's so mundane. I think you can see the picture there. Ah, I see cobble. That's looking more like it.
So that's the uh, the way I do my cobbled street. Obviously, when this is dry now, then I can uh, sand over some of the cobbles or paint some of them if I so wish. I know a lot of people do. They they paint different colours on cobbles, but I can't really see the point myself. There we go. One cobbled area. So I'll wait for that to dry again. Uh, then I'll cut my paths either side and I'll show you how I do those and stick those on with the, the curb along the front there um, and then try to complete the uh, bomb craters with debris um, and then I, I will finish this video and then part two I will continue with the, the buildings either side otherwise it's going to be a, a rather long rather long video and like I say I don't want to bore I don't want to bore you to tears so I'll carry on with the uh, the pavements and uh, I'll be back in a moment so now we have pavements either side uh, what I did was uh, cut three millimeter card to the size of pavement pavement that I wanted uh, marked out with a pencil the shape of the uh, paving slabs and the curb stones and then cut with a knife a 45 degree angle that way turn it round 45 degree angle that way so it cuts out a series of uh, 90 degree cuts uh, it's a, a much simpler way than uh, cutting each individual paving slab and individual curb stone so it, it, it makes the cardboard a bit floppy <laughs> with all the cuts that you've made in it. Uh, but by the time that's stuck on there, uh, you would never know that that's just one piece of card. Uh, anyway, same that side. I've uh, made the, um, the crater a little bigger. So I'll stick these on, uh, paint them, uh, and then I need to uh, put the, the debris in the... Uh, uh, bomb craters and that will be it for part one so I'll be back in a moment okay we've got our pavement stuck either side now and I've started uh, putting the debris in the, the bomb craters um, and I've had a comment saying that um, I, I don't show you enough of what I actually do I, I say what I'm going to do go away do it come back and say there we are finished uh, there's a few people that would like to see me do what I say I do if you get my meaning so with a bomb crater what I do of course this is entirely up to you just give that a coating of uh, PVA glue and then I've got three different colored dried grout pieces So it'll be a lighter colour at the bottom of the crater. I'm doing this very, very quickly, but with a bit more time and effort spent. And then this represents the, uh, the broken cobbles that would be around, around the edge. something like that uh, I've got red brick as well that I should crush up crush up a little more and that it looks good around a bomb crater although you probably wouldn't see red brick in the crater it, uh, it there wouldn't be red brick under the road but I like it so and that's what I'm going to do uh, so there we are that that's the first part 
of uh, the hill. Um, I, I've made quite a bit of the uh, the two buildings at the end there, but I'll concentrate more on those uh, in part two. So I'll finish these off when they're dry. I'll put a bit more um, debris, uh, rubble, all around the uh, the craters, and then um, I'll see you in part two. So. Thank you for watching this, part one, and uh, please subscribe. We're getting very close to um, a thousand subscribers, which is very good. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.